Hello, and welcome to the VMware ARIA automation video series, Your Journey to Success, Setting Up ARIA Automation Config. In this demo, the administrator will be performing the initial setup steps of ARIA Automation Config by accepting master and minion keys, creating targets, configuring role permissions to targets and jobs, connecting to an Active Directory for authentication, running jobs to deploy Apache to a pre-deployed minion, creating state files, running a high state, and finally scheduling a job. To begin, let's log in with our username root and password salt. All right, now that we're logged in, you may see the banner up top noting to view, view the pending master keys. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. In some instances, especially those deployed by ARIA Suite Lifecycle, you may not see this banner as ARIA Suite Lifecycle has already accepted the master key for you. But since this has been deployed manually, let's go ahead and click this link. All right, so now we see our Enterprise Installer Salt Stack master ID here is pending. Let's go ahead and check the checkbox and click uh, accept and accept key. Great. Now we can click accepted and see that the key's been accepted. Next, let's click minion keys and review the pending minion keys. And now we have the minion keys with the pending keys. And so let's go ahead and click each one of these. And accept key, accept key. Click accepted to see the minions. We can see the two minion keys for both the web node and the salt master have been accepted. Next, let's click targets. Click create. Let's go ahead and fill in the name. Apache. And let's go down here. ID. And then the grain value, click the drop down and type in asterisk dash web dash asterisk. This will allow us to identify not only the S. McDermott web 252 ID there, but any other web nodes in the future will get automatically categorized into the Apache target. Great. So now, let's uh, go ahead and click Actions and assign a role. Let's grant the administrator role, read write, and finally update the target here. Perfect. Next, under Administration, let's click Authentication. And from the configuration type, select LDAP. Click the pre-fill defaults and select the 2008 and later for most cases. Let's go ahead and just fill this in here. Finally, our demo admin password. Next, our group DMs, clear out what we have. And next, let's uh, scroll this. And here we go, we'll get our user search DN as well, which is the same as our group DN. We just want it to search from this demo level on down in our directory. All right. Let's uh, scroll down so we can see this update preview. Great. We can see the demo admins have synced in here. Go ahead and save this. Great, let's go ahead and select our group and save. Let's 
select users, our demo admin user, and click save. So great. Now we've added uh, not only the group, but also our user explicitly here. So let's proceed to roles. And we can see that the administrator role has uh, a number of tasks uh, pre-set up that it can uh, do. And so let's proceed to granting resource access. And so here we can see since earlier we added the uh, Apache uh, permission in the target to the uh, administrators group that's reflected here. And so we also want to allow the administrator role access to a few jobs. So let's go ahead and show all jobs. Let's, for one, enable access to the high state job. And click uh, read and run. Let's uh, scroll down here. And uh, there's sample Apache, read run. And let's go ahead and click save there. Okay. So now on the groups tab, let's go ahead and click the demo. Then click save. And then let's go to the users tab and click demo admin user. Click save. Great. And let's take a look at this advanced tab, which shows those uh, permissions that we saw in the task tab, but in a more detailed way. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Just take a quick look over the tasks and the advanced permissions. And you can see the checkbox and the yellow banner noting the ones. that are required for minimum permissions. All right, then save. And let's uh, go ahead and expand configurations and go to the file server. And to begin, let's start by clicking the drop down for the environment, select base. And let's make our first uh, top file here that'll be used in the high state uh, workspace uh, coming up next. So let's type forward slash top dot SLS. And we begin defining this by first specifying the environment. So let's start with SSE. And in SSE, we want any minion, which is identified by this asterisk, any minion ID. <clears throat> and we want H top state to be applied from the SSE environment. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. And so next, for any grain, we'll use the capital G at ID, so any grain ID that is like web or dash web dash should have a patchy state file applied to it. And then, so we're also going to create a corp environment folder next. So, but we can also just go ahead and type out uh, what we're going to use here in our top file from the corp folder. And that's going to be uh, for grains that are OS Ubuntu. We're going to create an NTP uh, file so we can set the NTP server for those hosts. And next, let's go ahead and click save. And now let's expand our folders. We can see the base, the top files in the base environment. Let's go ahead and expand SSE and take a look at Apache. We can see it's a init state file. And also let's take a look at HTOP and that's its init state file. So next, let's create the corp environment and we do that by clicking the drop down, and instead of selecting one of those, we're just going to free type in here, corp. Click add, and in our path name, we go ahead and type ntpd for the folder we want it to create, then init.sls for the initial state file. And so for this, it's a little bit longer, so I have this uh, copied over on the side. Let me just go ahead and paste that in. So 
Here's the basics of an NTP uh, daemon uh, state file in which we copy an NTP conf file, which we'll make next in this file manage section uh, to the minion. And then we'll make sure the uh, systemd timesyncd service is running. And uh, we'll check on that after the uh, deploy NTP file uh, can uh, complete successfully. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's uh, create our next file. So this time it'll be the NTP cont file. And here we'll set this to text. And this one we'll just type in what we want the cont file to be. So the standard NTP. Uh, file, we'll set it to the VMR time server here. I'll go ahead and save that. And now we can see we have the corp environment and our file server with the NTPD folder with the net state and the NTP cont file set up there. So next, let's go ahead and log out of root. Let's go ahead and sign in with one of our Active Directory users. In this case, I'll use demo admin. All right, we're logged in. Expand configurations, go to jobs. Let's go ahead and go into the sample Apache job that we gave our user access or our administrator role access to earlier. And we can see this sample Apache installs the Apache web server. And so let's go ahead and run this job and select our Apache target, which we had our web minion in previously. We'll go ahead and click run now. Now let's go ahead and expand activity and go to the in progress. And we can see this job is in a running state. It has uh, not yet returned, but it does have a job ID. So we'll give that a moment to run and we'll check in the completed section. Great. So here we can see the sample Apache job and the target Apache has completed and returned success. So let's take a look at this job ID next. And here we can see that the state targeted this S. McDermott web 252 uh, minion ID. But let's go ahead and look at the states that were applied. Click states, expand the minion, and we can see Apache 2 was installed and let's just go ahead and uh, scroll this down here and we can see the different packages new and no old since it wasn't installed previously and these are all the different packages that were installed as part of meeting the requisite to install Apache 2 and then uh, we ensured that the service was running. So next Let's take a look at the high state workspace. Go ahead and click run high state. Click the drop down for targets, select Apache, and click run high state. With the high state started, let's click the activity tab. Review the queue job. Return back to the states tab. And we can see that the high state ex executed uh, three different state files, the Apache, the NTP, and the HTOP. And so with, since Apache was previously installed, we see that no changes were made. The deploy NTP file, since it was not yet uh, configured that way, was deployed and copied over. And so changes were made for that. HTOP already existed on this uh, uh, host, so no changes were made, and then the time sync uh, service was also uh, started as well. So that's why we see the changes between yes and no. So next, let's go to the schedules. Let's go ahead and create a schedule so we can make sure we run that high state job hourly. High state hourly. Let's select high state as our job, and our target will be the Apache minions, 
This will be recurring. Since we just ran it, we don't need to click Run on Create, although you can if you'd like. And let's go ahead and click Save. Great. So now we'll ensure that the state files we specified in our top file are ran on an hourly schedule to ensure enforcement and uh, desired state are met continuously.